Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. This message is for the sign of Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Hope you're all well and safe, my loves. Okay, I love you guys so much. I got energy for you guys, Taurus, here as always. Okay, let's get right into your energy, Taurus, for your upcoming week, okay? Okay, Taurus, what I'm I'm getting from your energy, Taurus, is that you guys are really focused right now. You guys are really, really focused because what I heard when I was meditating on your energy, spirits say, um, I once was blind, but now I can see. So you once was blind and now you can see. What this is also telling me is that you guys are experiencing um, spiritual awakenings at this time. Okay, Taurus, awakening to your spiritual gifts, awakening to the truth, awakening to um, a different new perspective, okay? This is what I'm getting, okay? You guys are waking up to a, a, a new perspective, okay? You guys are awakening to the fact that you don't have to be in mental conflict to be able to manifest whatever it is that you guys are wanting, Taurus, because, yeah, you guys have been getting a lot of realizations, you guys have been um, getting a lot of truths and epiphanies. You guys are seeking spiritual knowledge and wisdom at this time. You guys are getting readings. You guys are becoming so enlightened that you guys are no longer in mental conflict. So that's good because you're literally, you're, move, you're, you're removing your own blockages. So your blockages are removed because of you taking, um, taking back your power, knowing who you are, um, knowing that you are here for a purpose and a journey. And I love this energy, okay? And a lot of you guys are are listening to healing meditations or um, doing your healing meditations. And if you're not, that will be something that can help you guys spiritually, okay, Taurus? What I'm seeing as well, okay, that you're awakening to certain situations in your lives, certain people in your lives that were putting up boundaries, like barriers for you guys, or that were setting um, blockages in your energy, or that were um, trying to confuse you guys um, with petty arguments or bullshit, and um, you guys basically detach your energy. You guys are working on something, Taurus. You guys are working on something. You guys are working on your money at this time. You guys are working on something that you want to put out or a project. Okay, and what I'm telling you is this project is going to be great, okay? You're getting some unexpected good news regarding this beautiful project or this business or something that you're creating, and it's going to help you at this time because your money will be increasing very fast. You can get a raise. You can get a promotion. Someone can communicate with you, Taurus, that wants to work with you. I just heard this from Spirit. Yes, and also, if, if any of you guys... Recently lost a family member, a mother, a father, uh, a grandfather, a grandmother at this time. My condolences to you, Taurus, because this is what I'm getting as well. And um, yeah, if you guys have lost someone recently, I'm sorry. My condolences once again. But I'll also have another message regarding that um, situation in your life. Because Taurus, what you don't even know, what you don't even know that's coming towards you is that you might be losing a family member or you might have just lost a family member, immediate family member, and you guys are going through, um, you guys are going to be going through, if you didn't go through this already, a little bit of stress, sadness, and sorrow. But uh, Spirit is please asking you guys to just go within and try to um, be strong and try to know that your loved one or your person that has transi transitioned or going to transition Taurus. This person is, is going to be one of your spirit guides or they're going to be your guardian angel. This person loves you very much, Taurus, and this person is also leaving you something, okay? So if you're losing a family member that this person really loved you so much and was very close to you, Taurus, they're going to be leaving you their legacy. They're going to be leaving you a fortune of wealth and inheritance, okay? And i um, not saying that that's going to make the situation any better. I'm just saying that this is what you don't know. This person is leaving you everything. This person is leaving you their 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 fortune and their wealth and inheritance. And um, some of you guys might be having a new child. Congratulations. This card came out, pregnancy, birth. I don't know if that resonates, you know, for whoever it resonates for, okay? But you guys um, will be celebrating with friends regarding um, this great fortune, regarding um, something that you're doing right now, a project or something that you're working on, a business, Okay, but you guys are going to have a happy home life, okay? 
You might be getting a home and, and inheriting a home. You never know. This is energy right now, okay? But you guys are get walking away from people that be gossiping, spreading rumors, trying to conquer and divide other people. You guys are on the lighter side of things. Like I said, you were once blind, but now you can see. You guys are awakened to the truth. You guys know that being spiritual and being wise and um, being unconditional love and healing towards others brings you your abundance, brings you your wishes, because only the good energy that you put out is what you get back. If you're um, gossiping and spreading lies or rumors, that energy is going to come back to you as well, because this is what it is. We're just surrounded by energies. You guys are realizing a lot of things, and you guys are just making your ends meet and focusing on you and your spirituality and your family and your children and your loved ones, because you don't got time for any of this negative energy to affect your process of evolving, to affect your process of ascension, okay? This is what I see my beautiful Tauruses are, are, are working on. And this is a beautiful thing, Taurus. This is beautiful right now that you're working on this, okay, Taurus? I'm going to just read the people that came out in your energy, okay? I'm going to read off these people that came out in your energy real quick, okay? So some people have been playing games with you, like I said, wanting to keep your mental conflict or doubt. Or, uh, but you guys are moving away from that. You could have a son, Taurus, okay? You could be dealing with a sister. You could be dealing with a brother. You could be dealing with a mother. Or you could be dealing with a dad. And these are the people that came out in your energy. Now let's get right into your messages, my loves, okay? Let's not waste any time and get um, further uh, clarification messages for you guys at this time, Taurus. Okay, let's get right into your energy, Thank you, Spirit. Give me the messages and the clear messages for the sign of Taurus, Spirit. Give me the um, energy and the messages that they need to see or hear or know at this time for their upcoming energy regarding their situations. Thank you, Spirit. One more shuffle, Spirit. One more shuffle. Thank you, my love, for the sign of Taurus, Spirit. Yes, let's get into the energy. Yeah, like I said... <laughs> Taurus, like I said, okay? Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> you guys are going in, in your hermit modes. You guys have been in your hermit modes. You guys have been reflecting. You guys have been using this lantern um, to clear your path, basically to illuminate whatever it has been kept in the dark from you guys. You guys are healing, purging, um, ascending, um, awakening to your spirits and your truth. Yes, becoming spiritually wise. And this is breaking all the barriers in your lives at this time. That's the only way we can do it, guys. And you guys are realizing that the only way you can break barriers and cause a shift in your energy and turn those tables in your own lives if you go within and you heal and you do these these things because money can't buy these things you have to do the work okay and you're realizing that you gotta detach yes thank you spirit yeah like i said you have to detach my loves this is exactly what i'm saying you had to turn your away you had to let go of the false love false hope empty cups um People creating conflict and doubt in your life because you felt like you wasn't good enough or you felt like every time you try to offer these these people in your situation or this person in your situation a cup or or try to give them um, some type of knowledge or wisdom or just build with these people. Yeah, they were just giving you empty cups back and you wasn't it wasn't reciprocating the love or the energy towards you guys. And this um, stems from childhood, I heard. This goes way back to childhood, my loves. And you guys are just looking forward. You guys are just moving away. And you guys are letting the full moon energies and God and angels and spirit guides to guide you right now. Beautiful energy. Thank you, spirit, for that beautiful message. Okay? Yes. And Taurus, yeah, you guys you guys had to hold on to your money. You guys had to um, and, um, spend your money wisely. You guys were just making your ends meet, like I said. And there were still people trying to um, throw you off. They was trying to confuse you. Some of them was trying to make you lose your jobs. Some of these people were jealous co-workers, I heard. Wow. Yeah. And it didn't matter what was going on because you guys still kept holding on to your money because God always had your back and you always made it through and you will make it through and you always kept your head above water. And that's why you're focusing on yourselves. And this is why you're focusing on your money and your coin and your business because ain't nobody going to give it to you. 
Yeah, and if this magician if this magician came up upside down, and I don't know why my cards are coming up upside down because I really don't read reversals, but now I got a message for this uh, magician upside down. There was people, several people, or one person, um, yeah, using their energies for not so good reasons, um, trying to manifest bad things in your lives, using magic or black magic or um, energy magic towards you guys. You guys are understanding that only through meditations, spiritual baths, cleansing your energy, um, sage, palo santo, um, rosemary, bay leaves, all that stuff, guys, all that stuff, even Florida water has been able to protect you guys from this evil magician person that was doing these toxic things in your lives or sending you this bad energy to keep you stuck. And you guys found out. And look, your money's increasing regardless. Yeah, because look, your money's increasing regardless. Your pentacles are growing regardless because you guys have accumulated your accolades with spirit and um, you got spiritual money and now it started to manifest into your reality. And this magician that this magician person or people that were trying to use dark energy towards you guys to keep you blocked mm -hmm. now they're upset now they're um they're on they're like confused wondering why this didn't work on you guys wondering why this energy wasn't working but yeah because you guys are still in your nine of cups um nine of pentacles energy taurus this is your energy this is the earth energy taurus virgo capricorn energy right here yes Okay, you guys are still coming out on top. You guys are still becoming abundant. You guys are still seeing your blessings come through. And now you guys are about to receive something from a past loved one. Okay, and this is something no one could have predicted. Okay, it's because they, it felt like your family or, or these people always counted you out. Taurus, they always counted you out. They always thought, uh, um... Yeah, um, Taurus doesn't need our help, or Taurus is good by themselves, or they got this, but they didn't understand that you do. You did need their help, you did need their support, you did need their love, and these people were too selfish. All they wanted to do is take, 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 and not give you nothing. And now you're just taking all this energy and, and time into yourselves, and you're giving yourselves the rewards, and you, you're using your money to heal yourselves, and, and, and to buy yourself nice things, or put your money into a business and you guys are healing this broken heart you guys are removing these swords you guys are no longer letting um these um wounds from the past hurt you you guys are healing and that's that's what i'm talking about that's the reason why you're being rewarded as well yeah we get rewarded when we heal yeah there you go queen of pentacles taurus very wise very abundant very um fortunate at this time knowing who you are on your spiritual path on your journey on the right path yeah becoming abundant focusing on those pentacles not really focusing too much on love at this time or on relationship. You guys are focusing on your pentacles and your protection from this magician that was trying to um keep you stuck. Yeah. Yeah, but no, you got the strength. You got you got the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. You got the strength card. You're strong. You tame that beast within you. You started wearing your crown. Look, you started wearing your crown. Yeah, you started getting divine messages. And it's a wrap. Now your money's increasing because it came out under the seven of pentacles and the hermit card. Can't make it up. Yeah. Some of you guys are thinking about relocating or traveling, looking forward to the future, looking to new things, and um, just like letting go of the past or whatever kept you stuck that didn't work. You're not focused on that. You're realizing you got one life to live and you need to live it. And that's what you're going to do. Some of you might go on vacation. Yeah. Congratulations. Good job, Taurus. Because you had to stand your ground. You had to put your foot down. You had to wake up. That's it. You had to. Because if not, they was going to keep putting more swords in your back. Yeah, but you guys been standing your ground. Held on to your money. Took back your power. And this is bringing you everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah look. Like, you, you was losing sleep. And, and now you're no longer losing sleep. But there's someone losing sleep over you, Taurus. And it could be an ex-partner. This could be a family member. This could be a co-worker or ex-boss, whatever. Everyone's situation is different, but someone's losing sleep. Yeah, because they realized that you started healing and moving forward, taking leaps of faith, starting new things, and they were still stuck obsessing over you, wondering if their magic works. When they realize their magic ain't working no more, this is how they're going to be, under stress, losing sleep. Yes, exactly. This is what it is, okay? Because you are getting the sun, and this is exactly why this, look, I can't make this up.
This is exactly why this person is losing sleep over here. Because you're the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. Because you're very uh, abundant and wise. You took back your power. You started working on yourself. Started focusing on you. And you're receiving the sun. You're receiving all your blessings. You're coming out victorious. You're beautiful, abundant, and wise. Yeah, you're just enjoying everything around you. Connected one to nature. And on the bottom of the deck. Can't make it up. Bottom of the deck. Look. Bottom of the deck. The full card. Yes, because they see you taking leaps of faith. I just said that. Can't make this up. It's just energy. Okay? Because they see you taking these leaps of faith in your life. They see you getting the sun in your life. Because you've been standing your ground with these people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Healing your broken heart. That's why, they're, that's why they're upset right now. That's why they're losing sleep. Because they don't even know how to come towards you. To give you an apology because they're still living in their ego sometimes some of them and and you're too busy taking leaps of faith yeah like i said and you're too busy getting that coin being abundant receiving inheritances receiving businesses receiving tenfold um abundance from and um, wealth from god and the angels because you put the work in people don't realize that you got to put the work in you can't just Sit there and say, oh, I'm spiritual, I'm spiritual, but not put the work in. You actually got to put the work in, okay? I couldn't even sit here in front of you guys on YouTube and tell you I'm spiritual and I'm wise and I didn't put the work in. I worked on myself for three years straight before I got on YouTube, okay? Just to let anybody know that that's confused watching my videos. I put three years of work into myself, healing, purging, awakening chakras, meditations, Yes, energy healing, yes, until I was ready, until I got these clear messages to the point where I could come on YouTube and give everyone that I love that supports me advice on how they can do this too. Yeah, I know I can teach you guys so much, okay? I'm working on spiritual school for you guys as we speak. This is the new thing right now, spiritual school, because there's process, there's levels to this shit. You can't just say you're spiritual, you have to do the work. And you guys been doing that damn work. And there's the Ten of Pentacles to show you that you've been doing that work. It's multiplying and it's coming to you in your physical reality. Okay, my loves. Yes, you've been doing the damn thing. Yes. And this is why, this is why you did it. Because you felt this is what they were doing to you. Rejecting your love, rejecting your cup, thinking you weren't good enough, not giving you the opportunities you needed, not picking you, not choosing you. Wow. Yeah. But you've been picking and choosing yourself because you let that go. You put that shit to rest. Yes, can't make it up. I'm just saying. And when you put it to rest, what did you get next? The wish, the star, the abundance, the breakthroughs, the awakenings, the clarity. The energy is working in your favor because this is what it is. You can't make up this energy. Thank you, spirit. No, you can't. I'm going to pull some um advice from the Moonology cards for you guys, okay? Let me get these Moonology cards. Where are they at? Okay, under here? Okay. Yeah, let's get this advice, spirits, because you guys did the work, okay? That's all I got to say. You did the work, and that's it. You deserve the rewards. And nobody's going to take that from you, okay? Nobody can take that from you. When you actually do the work, no one can take it. Remember, because it's a spiritual thing. And spirits know who does, spirit knows who does the work and who don't. That's it. Point blank, period. Okay? Yeah, so let's get some advice messages from your ancestors regarding this energy right here, guys. Okay? Keep that in mind. This is your energy, and you did the work. Once you were blind, but now you see. Yes. Praise God and the angels. We love you so much. Thank you. Give me some advice messages, ancestors, please, and thank you for my beautiful Taurus. What are the advice messages that you want to give them for this beautiful reading? Thank you, spirit. Okay. Thank you. Advice from my beautiful Taurus, angel guides and spirits, please and thank you. Love you so much. Yes, we do. We, we love you. We wouldn't be nothing without our spirits guiding us. We wouldn't be nothing without our intuitions. We wouldn't be nothing. We wouldn't be happy. We wouldn't be great. And you guys know that already. Yeah, you can't be great without your spirit guides because they know the truth and they'll never lie to you. Okay, let's get these messages for you guys, Taurus. 
Yeah, that's what I just said. Surrender to the divine, my love. You're surrendering to divine, divine guidance, divine protection, divine truth, divine wisdom. That's what it's all about. That's the only way you're going to be free. Yes, because it is a time for healing. That's what you guys are working on, too. Can't make this up. Oh, my goodness. That's what I just talked about in your whole reading. Okay, working on healing, meditations, crystals. Uh, spiritual bath, sage, palo santo, everything you can do to keep your energy safe and protected, you guys are doing to heal those hearts. Yes, because your dreams are having a practical plan, because you're finally seeing your dreams manifest into the reality. Yes, this is your card, Taurus. What a beautiful card. Look, your card came out. Look at you. About to run them all over like that bull. Yes. Your dreams are becoming practical. Your dreams are becoming real into this reality. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Let's pull one card for you right here. Matter of fact, I'm going to just give this one card to you. Okay. This is one message right here from this beautiful. I love this oracle deck, guys, for the mystical moments. Number 51. To the moon and back. Ha. Ah, can't make it up. You guys are going to the moon and back. You guys are feeling like you could go to the moon and back. You guys know spirit got you to the moon and back. You guys are manifesting everything you want in your in your in your situation because you're focused on those guides. You're focused on that healing. You're focused on the truth of your, who you really are, and you're, that's where you're going to the moon and back whenever you want to because your wishes are coming. Your your dreams are manifesting as we speak, and I love this beautiful energy for you guys, Taurus. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in to me, spiritual healer, once again, with the truth, with your energy. Till next time, I love you so much, my beautiful Taurus. Namaste.